Koei family, welcome back to the Jabby Koei channel. I'm Achara Kirk and I'm joined by Sintal Koei. What's cracking, baby? And we're going to be checking out English for English. This is part three of our full watch along reaction. If you want to see the whole thing uncut, uninterrupted, you can head over to our Patreon page or join us on YouTube memberships where you will have access to the whole reaction. No interruptions, but you will need to have your own copy of the movie in order to watch along with us and we will give you instructions just how to do that. It's very easy, don't worry about it at all. And if you're watching here on YouTube, thanks so much. Are you subscribed? Please do click that bell icon when you subscribe so that you know when we drop another video and to upvote this video if you're enjoying what you're watching. So yeah, let's get into part three. All that trouble again, Shashi. That's an interesting choice. It makes her like kind of like be forced to be the person that people only identify her as, you know? Yeah. My favorite subject may fail, okay? Dusre subject may pass on Right. Because her, her job as a mother, as a wife, is more important than anything else. Like, her character always puts duty. Like, she's still a lovely mother, you know? Mm hmm It's like she's, she didn't even get mad at him. We should look after that. Yeah? Don't just, worry. Yeah. I've heard so much about your wife's food. Ladoos? She yes. loves cooking. She just loves it. Just... I love eating. <laughs> Hi, thank you for coming. Thank you. Hi. Hello. 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 Oh, the squad showed up. Hello, madam. Surprise! <laughs> Dang, oh, he looks striking. Yeah. He's a handsome man. Are Shashi madam, we missed you today. I love how what they all managed to get like English. proper like traditional garb to wear as well. Ah, you know what? I didn't even let that sink in, right? Okay. Yeah, they're all looking yeah. like super good. Eva, hello. Hi. Salman, Yuso, uh, Ramu Murthy. Nice to meet you. Laura. Nice to meet you. Hello. Very customs thing. Sorry? He's like, you have friends? Mm -hmm. Let alone close friends? What? Mm -hmm. You were born so your dad and I could share complete happiness. Mm -hmm. Love each other. And son, leave me and your mother alone. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to focus on each other. So he was, he's translating in her ears what he's doing, right? I guess. Your return. Oh, come on, this is your speech. My wife's English is uh, not very good, so. May I? May I? Mm. Sometimes married couple don't even know how the other is feeling. Nobody can help you better than you. Mm. Family can never be uh, never be judgmental will never make you feel uh, small family is the only one who will never laugh at your weaknesses unless it's my family <laughs> <laughs> that's all miran kevin i wish you all the best mm, yes well done that was a lovely speech. Yes, it is. Sashi, you don't return back, you just return. And you missed a few us and thus. Else you passed with distinction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Do you want me to help? Uh, me, me. Now, don't drop it this time, though. <laughs> right? Next time, Mama, if I'm next. She can talk better than you. <laughs> Something for you. Shashi, quoi qu'il arrive, ta rencontre se restera spéciale dans ma vie. Whatever happens, meeting you is very special in my life, always. Jab apne aap ko pyar karne lagte hain. Mm. 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 
तुम्हें दो लड्डू क्यों खिलाती ना गुड चॉइस तो है गर्ल God, I hate those goodbyes. Like, especially when you spent such a long time. <laughs> sorry, do you have any Hindi newspaper? Oh no, sorry. It's okay, thank you. She said it with confidence. Yeah. He's falling in love with her all over again. Yeah. Seen her before. But there's something to that as well, though. I'm sure we will discuss this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, well, that wow. looks like they real got... snow. Yeah, that's real. They got yeah. to be there in the real snow. Yeah, you got to dance in that snow, otherwise you're gonna freeze to death. <laughs> At least yeah, the kid looks warm. Go ahead. Yeah, I was just about to say. I was just about to say because. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure she's nice and warm. Yeah. <laughs> That's like real snow, but everything is green. Like the um, the trees and stuff are still green. I wonder how they did that. Yeah, I wonder what time of year it was. Yeah. I mean, in the news things they were looking at, it said October. It could have just been like an early snow. Ah, yeah, I mean, it is New York. <laughs> I will say that I think they cast um, a lot of the foreign actors really well especially the guy who played Laurent he's really good yeah yeah he, yeah. he, he definitely brought it they both do a lot of their acting like right here exactly like right in this spot right here you, you catch it all which you really need that for a movie like this exactly when, well, when, I mean, when language is going to be the thing you kind of like to have to overcome it was interesting as well that they chose not to subtitle his French Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, for me, I understood most of it anyway, but it's like, it's not even important because you understand kind of the emotion of what's being said without mm-hmm. even read the subtitles, you know? Right. I wasn't expecting to, to enjoy the class as much as I did, too. Yeah, it's such a sweet, cute movie. Like, it definitely feels like your kind of American indie film, mm-hmm. which generally as a genre I really really love like films about family relationships friendships all that stuff like I'm really mm-hmm. really into it so yeah. I'm, I'm happy that I got to watch this again because it's, it's such a great film one of the things I really like because sometimes I do have a, a cultural disconnect but I do love like the through line of human elements that we like we all share right yeah and and for hers is just like you know, she's probably been living this life for so long, raising the family, being the wife, being everything that needs to be done in a way that's respectful. You kind of like lose yourself in all of that, right? Yeah. Like eventually. That's one of those things I think is just a human quality, just in general. Like you can lose yourself in the person that you're with or the thing that you're doing. And we got a chance to see her be forced into a situation where she kind of like had to like look at herself and be like, okay, I can control this and make myself better. And she did that by, you know, by taking a step forward and, and, and taking the class. And it's just a really like uncomfortable thing, right? Yeah. Until you get to that space where you're comfortable doing it. And then you're like, oh my God, I'm so happy that I did this thing. I thought the uh, the, the scene, like the original coffee house scene when everything was like blowing up in her face and stuff. I thought that was like really necessary. It was like the last kind of like straw in a sense because she's yeah. like, it totally destroyed her, right? And then there's this one person, which I think in life kind of delivers this too. Like Delight will just give you things to be like, hey, this is a clue to kind of like head this direction to help pull you out of this. And it was a uh, Laurent. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and let her know that, you know, I saw you because he sees everything. Yeah. You know, I saw you. It's all good. That lady was mean. You know, here's your coffee. Uh, and then serendipity brings his head again and she signs over to class. And lo and behold, Laurence is there again. The, Laurent, the <laughs> handsome Frenchman who's so nice. But I think that's that's the crucial thing here, like with his character. Mm-hmm. Like what what you said was he sees her, right? And sometimes, especially when we're 
a character like Shashi, who basically her whole identity has become her role as a wife and a mother. She's forgotten who she is. And he's almost like a mirror to her, just reflecting back all of the wonderful things about her, which she's forgotten or that she didn't know. That was really lovely because through him being able to see her, she was able to see herself and have more confidence. And she had like, like a fantastic journey throughout the movie, which was just a delight to watch. Yeah, you know, and, and when it comes to these journeys, I know a lot of times, and I know I fall victim to this. Sometimes it feels like you're doing this journey on your own a lot of times, you know? Um, um, yeah. But but the funny thing about life is that, you know, just like Laurent was kind of like sent to her as like a, a bit of a springboard to kind of like help put her on her path. There was other people as well that was doing the same thing. Everything from her teacher to the classmates yeah. to her niece. You know, it's like all these people, like if they see you put a bit of an effort, it's like it attracts other people to kind of like help move that momentum. Or when you, when you think that, you know, you're going to falter a little bit, they help get you back on track. I just love that reinforcement thing of just it doesn't all have to fall on your shoulders you just have to start right start. you just have to take the first step right yeah just yeah. take the first step and then let's see how it unfolds and then you'll get other ways of seeing it other options other people to move into your life cool things it's like but you got you gotta start though that's the thing you yeah. gotta take that step into that uncomfortable space yeah uh, and it's tough and one of the things that kind of watching it I don't know if I said this in my original review or if it was just you know now coming into this and and watching it after having watched a lot more Indian content I found it really sweet that you know for us being Westerners I suppose we would have thought that the way the romance aspect of the story would have gone was she would have stood up to her husband and been like Mm, mm, mm. Right, you don't believe right. in me I'm gonna leave you there's someone else who sees me and loves me and respects me and provides me everything I need but I really appreciated that you know this movie while showing her as being someone who you know gets out there and tries to achieve her dreams and her goals and is discovering amazing things about herself it's still really rooted I think in like Indian traditions and Indianisms okay. because like divorce isn't something that from what I hear from um, people who we've chatted to and, and in comments and stuff on things that we've reacted to divorce isn't really something in India that is that they really do <laughs> or that they okay. really agree with mm -hmm. and so this whole thing about the family being really important and her character ultimately choosing family and and duty over everything else. I don't even know how to po properly articulate myself in this moment, but it just felt like really true to being Indian in mm -hmm. a way and just okay. kind of still holding on to that identity, but looking at it in a different way, you know, because I think what she said has value about, you know, sometimes you can get lost in a relationship and you start kind of maybe feeling really bad, but then if you work on yourself, and you make yourself feel better, then all of those things that you didn't appreciate before, suddenly you start to see them in a new light. And then that reinforces her decision to stay because ultimately, you know, it's about family and she loves her family and she's she's never gonna give them up. I don't know if I articulated myself really well, right. but that's kind of, I don't know <laughs> if, if you get what I was trying to say. But. No, 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 I do. I do, especially when you, when you said, uh, when, if you like invoke Western sensibilities on, on, on projects like this, it's typically what you just said. You know, you yeah. didn't appreciate me, look at me now, this, that, and the third. You know, that's like a Western very thing, a very Western thing. Or yeah. or they would have like brought shame to him in some kind of way. Like LaRue would have used his five minute speech to show how he really sees her and this, that, and the right. third. And there would have been like this aha moment, but it didn't go that route at all. It just went that there's this, this thing happened and I grew from it, all right? And I'm not gonna turn my back on the thing that is important to me. Like that moment when the little kid knocks over the knocks over the desserts, that's when it kind of hit me. I was like, oh, okay, my Western sensibilities thinks it's gonna go one way, but it yeah. reinforced the other way. It reinforced the fact that my family is what is important to me. This is also a part of it. It's not the only thing that represents yeah. me, but it is very important. And I'm going to make sure I do what I'm supposed to do in order to share this love that I have for my family. And it was a difficult decision because she's she's practically crying almost 
Yeah. Almost. You know, she's having a moment while she's doing this thing. But like you said, you know, that's why I think there's such an importance of, of storytelling from other places because you get to see it from a different context. And, and yeah. I'm happy that it went this way and not the way that I thought it was going to be. If anything, it's definitely a lot more heartwarming to realize that you can still salvage something that you thought might have been difficult. But maybe if I change some of the things that I do, I can help move that process towards everybody being happy instead of just throwing it all away and running towards the pretty thing, which would have been a Western thing. <laughs> yeah, totally, right? You know, right? Yeah. yeah, and then and then also, like, it's such a feel-good movie, right? You know, because even at the end, they're on the plane and she starts, she speaks English really well with the stewardess mm. or flight attendant, sorry, mm, antiquated right, right. language. <laughs> um, I, I got corrected by my sister who's all like, they're not called stewardesses anymore, they're called flight attendants. I'm like, okay, whoopsie, <laughs> sorry. All you flight attendants out there watching. Um, <laughs> you know, she, she spoke English perfectly and her husband looks at her with this kind of like, wow, you know, this admiration in his eyes of like, who are you? It's like I'm, I'm with a new woman, you know, like, and that's important in a relationship, I think, is to like keep growing and keep falling in love with each other mm -hmm. every day. And she definitely did that. Yeah. I'm, I, yeah, I love this film. <laughs> One more little in interesting thing, and that's what I noticed in the end, and that is, I loved how they they just really did just just drag the husband, you know, and and I felt that in a lot of different ways because sometimes you respond to the person, your significant other, in the manner that they present themselves, and she was presenting herself at the time with the uh, with the film started as being this one type of person, this mom, yeah. this this mother, this, I only make these kinds of desserts. And after a while, her husband, and how I interpret this, how I interpret it, her husband identified her as that and only that. You know, he yeah. didn't have any other additional information or anything else to kind of like change that because you kind of like, go through the patterns of life and it's day to day. And that's just who she is, you know, and you get comfortable with, with things that are set in their ways, right? But it wasn't until she realized that, there, that she is more than just that and then it convinces him you know the, the her her husband is like oh wow i see you differently you know you gave him the option to kind of like see you differently you've presented yourself and he and given him let him see other sides of you to fall back in love again like all, all, all over again and i think that is what the importance is when it comes to loving yourself because when you do love yeah. yourself you offer other options to the world for them to attach and and fawn over you and love on you when you don't you become small and yeah. people just only see you as that thing proper building yourself up is so 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 important because yeah really everybody wins everybody wins yeah like there's nothing wrong with you know, doing things that might be a little selfish, right? To like mm -hmm. take care of yourself and do the things that matter to you and that build you up and, and make you happy. Because I mean, ultimately, if you're happy, the people around you are happy. And then also, if you love yourself fully and completely, then you wouldn't accept anyone loving you any less than you love yourself because mm. like that's the standard and so you just show everyone else how you want them to love you and so it's just like a win-win situation for everyone like there's so many positive messages from this movie you know it's just like it's really lovely i also really enjoyed uh amitabh bachan's little cameo yes i'm so glad we're talking about that yeah yeah because yeah. it, was, it was such an important cameo as well because i feel like he was the first person in in a long like slew of characters who helped her along her way but he was the first one who was like no do it confidently and you know you you are allowed to do these things you are allowed to ask for water like not even allowed like you don't even need permission just do it and so that was kind of her journey to go from someone who was really timid and just like oh no can i do this to someone who's like Yes, I would like this 
sandwich with coffee <laughs> and an ice water, please. Just yeah. no problem. I enjoyed that a lot. I thought he was a great character. Oh, I think he was so needed too because it just put a big jolt of energy for me to me in the film. Like for one, he lived in the moment completely. Even when he's like translating the movies and he's just yeah. like, boom, bang, and all this other stuff. Like he's just there. It's like, who cares what everybody else is thinking? It's me and you and you're gonna watch this movie the way it should be watched. And I'm gonna help you with that. And, and then the button analogy was just great. Pushing that button is like pushing abundance. You know, it's like, and you can push it as much as you want. I want abundance, boom. I want this, boom. Don't be afraid to push it. And then abundance comes and it's like, here's your water. Here's your no newspaper. Here's whatever it is that you want. Like that ride on the plane to me felt like a metaphor of life. Like, yeah. just get on. Somebody's gonna help you enjoy it. Be in the moment. Hit that abundance button. Keep it moving. You're heading to your destination. Don't you realize this? You're on your destination right now. Enjoy it. Yeah. Just, it was just, uh, yeah, I got a little bit of chills. Let me get off my little soapbox. Yeah, I know. Uh, I mean, it's so great as well because, like I said in the beginning, when, when the kid, the daughter was just being kind of awful to her mom, I did feel kind of bad because there were definitely moments in my childhood where, you know, my, my mom doesn't speak great English mm -hmm. and sometimes we'd make fun of her and stuff. And most of the time, I don't think my mom was super affected by that because she has this like insane buffer of confidence where she's like, fine, laugh at me all you want, haha, -ha, but I don't give a shit. Or maybe it's a front, I have no idea. I did feel kind of bad and, and it, it, it just reminds you as well that like, you do need to be nicer to the people around you because you don't know if they're they're struggling or how your words might affect you because you know, they were saying all these things like just kind of dismissing her and not giving her the opportunity to step up and shine. And so she only got that when she went on this you know, physical and metaphorical journey to New York and was by herself and figured it out for herself. I guess she didn't have that before. And and I love that that was the story, you know, because it's just really, it's heartwarming and inspiring. It just reminds you like, oh yeah, this is life. You can go out and do things and get things, <laughs> you know? Yes. Yes, and go get things. Go get it. I hope this inspires everybody who watches. It inspires me even more. I love yeah. stuff like this. I love feel good stuff. Yeah. Tingles. I don't know if we, if, <laughs> if we want to talk about any like technical things or. Oh, okay. So here's something. Here's something. Okay. So little trade secret. Sometimes. Okay. Uh, for me, if I notice all of the stuff that goes on behind the scenes, then that means I haven't been in the moment completely. And it's yeah. very difficult. It's very, very difficult because I notice everything all the time. In this film, even though there were some really cool technical stuff, like I like the way some of the shots and stuff, it wasn't the thing that kept my mind moving because I stayed in the moment. We can get into the weeds <laughs> and the technical stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll rewind it into my head, but that wasn't the thing that made it be like, oh, okay, I'm not really trying to see how the artist is painting the picture because that is fascinating to me. And I love watching artists paint, but sometimes I just look at the painting and I'm like, damn, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I, I, think, I think you basically hit the nail on the head, right? It's like the content of the, the movie, the story, um, the way everyone acted, you know, just weave together a beautiful tapestry that like we don't really need to unravel all the bits. But I do want to give honorable mention to the entire cast because I thought they were all very, very well cast. Sri Devi, obviously, like she killed it. Like you said, you know, it's it's her eyes. Everything's there in her eyes, which is absolutely crucial when you're doing a role where you're not really using your words that much. I just loved the way she was, like her body language and everything, or when she wasn't feeling confident versus when she was feeling confident. Like it was all there. The casting of, I, I said this before, but like the foreign actors, especially Laurent played by Mehdi <laughs> Nebu. He was great. Everyone was just wonderful. 
Yeah. yeah I enjoyed yeah, it I, thoroughly. I loved, um, I'm not, and I'm making sure I do not say this word, the antagonist, which is just somebody that her protagonist has to overcome. Um, one of the antagonists is her husband. I'm not saying villain because there's a difference. He's not a villain. Right. He's just something that she has to try to overcome in order to better herself. I thought he did a really good job because I was frustrated with him. I was frustrated with the calls being short. I was frustrated because of her as I got, became more attached to, to Shredevi. I was frustrated with the fact that he only saw her as the cook. I was frustrated because he didn't see her in the same way that, that Laurent saw her. Laurent, Laurent saw her. So I thought that actor did a very good job because it's very easy to just label him as the bad guy. Yeah. And he and he told that line really, really, really well. I was just more disappointed. I didn't hate him. Yeah. You know, it wasn't that. It's just like this dude just keeps disappointing me. He keeps disappointing the person that I'm supposed to be rooting for. And he sold that. He did a really good job. Yeah. That. It's like he just didn't get it. And I think that's important because like we needed to, like you said, feel frustrated with him, but we didn't need to outright hate him. <laughs> yeah. Because then we couldn't get on board at the end if he was so bloody awful and she still stayed with him because then we'd be like, why? Yes, we could have had exactly. Laurent. He was right there. <laughs> <You know? laughs> exactly. Oh, and there's a, such a really good poignant moment. And he's looking at her kind of like sheepishly a little bit. And he's like, do you still love me? Yeah. And I think it was that moment. It was a bit of a wake up call when he saw the love that she exuded and how other people loved her because she was glowing, you know, her yeah. light was shining and he saw it. He realized, and then she looks at him and she was like, you know, I wouldn't have given you two if I didn't, you know? Yeah. It's like, of course I'm with you. Of course I still love you. It was a good moment to see that they're gonna be all right. I thought that was also uh, a kind of imagery. It was yeah. an imagery of like, the two Ladus was representative of them being together mm. as like like being a couple because everyone else's was just singular and then there were two on that plate so that's that's what that made me think of I was like oh she's saying she wants to be with him <laughs> why <laughs> yeah yeah there's lots of uh, cute little things here and yeah overall just such a great feel good positive uplifting yes. movie yes. yes and i hope that little kid whoever the little kid is that played her son he needs to be selling cereal somewhere he's got a million dollar smile and laugh and all of that that little well, guy is made for the is made for the big screen let's <laughs> see he was a little kid then but that was like 10 years ago yeah, so. this came out in 2012 or five. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Ooh, so 10 years, years oh, yeah. ago. Oh, yeah. So he's a full blown adult. He's a grown up <laughs> now. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what he's doing. He was a cutie. Like every single scene he was in, I just couldn't. I was just like, oh my God, you're you have too much energy. You're probably <laughs> like really annoying to, to babysit, but my God, are you cute. <laughs> Scene stealer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching this along with us. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe, click that bell icon, all notifications, and upvote this video if you enjoyed it to let YouTube know that you did. And follow Sintel on his social media and his YouTube channel. And we will see you again soon. I'm Achara Kirk. This is. Hey, it's your boy Sintel. Ciao.